Airbus is a big company. We are making airliners, we are making corporate jets, we are making military aircraft, we are making helicopters, we are making rockets and satellites. On the corporate jet side, we are exhibiting here an ACJ319. It has the advantage of having the widest and the tallest cabin of any business jet. So when you are traveling in the business jet, you have more comfort, more space, and more freedom of movement in the aircraft than in any other competing business jet. So on the airline side, Airbus has almost a thousand aircraft flying with the airlines. But on the corporate jet side, we have about 200 Airbus corporate jets flying worldwide. And of those 200 aircraft, about 30% are in the Middle East. So the Middle East is a very important market for Airbus, both on the corporate jet side and on the airliner side, and of course in military and space and helicopters as well. So on the corporate jet side, the aircraft have a very good investment value, so they will last a long time. But of course, people also like to have the latest model that is available, and today we have what we call NEO, new engine option. It means we put new and more fuel efficient engines on the aircraft and turned up wingtips, we call them sharklets. And these two together are providing a 15% improvement in fuel. And this means also an improvement in range and how far the aircraft can fly. So we have many customers who are interested to upgrade from today's models into the newer ones. So the A380 is a very successful aircraft. It's very successful in the UAE with Emirates, with other carriers in the region. And it will go on pleasing passengers because it's the most popular aircraft from a passenger point of view. <coughs> very quiet, very comfortable, wider seats and so on. And it will go on in service for many years. So it's a question of having an aircraft which is efficient and also being able to fill the aircraft. So the airlines are always trying to fill the aircraft. Today the A380 is doing a great job and uh, there is the possibility in uh, having a corporate jet based on the A380 one day. Well, one announcement that we are making on the corporate jet side is that today our main customers are companies, <coughs> individuals and governments but there is a new emerging category which we call air cruising. So just like you might take a cruise on a ship, you could take a cruise with an airliner, a corporate jet version of an airliner. And we already announced uh, another company is doing this and today we will announce a company called TCS World Travel. We'll be taking an A321LR for long range to fly between World Heritage Sites. And the A321LR, it's a great combination of the comfort on board with the ability to land at World Heritage Sites or airports close to World Heritage Sites and it has the range to fly non-stop to those sites.